guys, it's Charlie, and today I'm going to talk about my hair. Um, but first, before I start, I want to let you guys know that there were people who asked me about La Palette, which is a purse shop. Um, if you guys have seen my purses, either one of these two, um, I have received many messages and comments asking about that shop and the website. If you go to my fashion channel, Miss Mannequin Girl, it'll be in the description box. Um, I give you guys the website and yeah, so that will be on the on my fashion channel, the website to the purse shop. And also I started my bow making certificate course um, and I made this bow and it's really cute and I made the one that's in my hair right now and I really like it yeah so I'm learning some whoa <laughs> I'm learning some really cool designs and I don't know it's just really cute okay so I'm just so excited about that um, yeah so those are some cool things that are going on right now uh, my bow thing and yeah, so I get a lot of comments about my hair and how I keep my hair up and how I feel about being natural, period, and then being natural in Korea and what people's reactions are to my hair and everything. So first, I want to say that I've never had a perm because I get a lot of people asking, um, when did I go natural? I've never permed my hair, so I've never had to like cut it and then grow it out to get all the chemicals out so I've never had a perm but I used to straighten my hair like two or three times a week and I would um ah, that's pretty much it <laughs> I used to straighten my hair um often and my mom actually used to straighten my hair with the flat iron um the one that you actually put on the stove um for those of you who don't know um we typically use like um well I don't know if a lot of people still use it, but it's a kind of flat iron that you actually put on actual fire on the stove. So a lot of black people typically do their hair in the, in the what? In the kitchen. <laughs> I forgot what a kitchen was called. Cause my kitchen is like my house. If you can see over there. I have my rice cooker on the floor and I have my blender and my juicer. Yeah, so, um, Typically, um, hair was done in the kitchen, which sounds really nasty because, you know, who wants hair in their food? But it doesn't sound nasty to us because that's just how it's been done. You have to use the fire or sometimes there's like this hot pan that you can plug in and it gets really hot. So, yeah. Um, so, when I, growing up, my mom straightened my hair. Um, she would do it maybe two or three times a week, um, usually maybe twice, and I'd just try and keep it up. But um, I recently, well, I used to, I never had braids until I got into college because I moved away. Wow, I'm talking really loud. <laughs> Whenever I explain something, I get really loud. Okay, so, um... When I moved to college in the dorms, my mom, like, well, I didn't want to drive home, even though she didn't live that far from me. Um, I didn't want to drive home for my mom to straighten my hair, and I wasn't used to doing my hair. Like, I couldn't get used to just, like, combing it and, like, being in the back, like, trying to, like, comb it out and blow dry it and straighten it, and then my arms would get tired. So, I was just so tired. Like, I didn't want to even try to do my hair, so I decided to get braids when I was in college and um, every like three months I would just take them out. Wa um, you can wash your hair while you have braids but then I'd wash my hair when I take them out um, and do my hair in braids like every three months. Um, three or four months that way like when you have braids it's so simple you can just wash your hair and you can swim and you can exercise and without like when you have your hair straight you don't want to do anything you don't want to work out you don't want to get in the pool you don't want to even like get your hair wet in the shower you're like so cautious and when you have to, when it rains outside you're like so conscious about your head like it was just so frustrating to just even think about having my hair straight and trying not to get it wet so because once it gets wet it's like this instantly so um, so in college I ended up getting braids and I had braids for a good amount of time, maybe a year and a half, 
I kept it up um, on and off a little bit, but mostly braids. And then um, before coming to Korea, I actually discovered the whole curly fro look, which was more, it was more of a curly look than a fro, but it was where I have a video on my fashion channel. Um, like I said, it'll be in the description box, but it's pretty much where you straighten your hair. You don't have to straighten it super straight, just enough, like a little bit. You straighten your hair and then you put it in curlers and twisties and then a curler to get this um, curly look. But it's kind of like a fro and you see it kind of on my main picture, on my main on my main page for my YouTube channel. Um, you can see it there and then I ha it comes out different every time. So usually I get comments like, oh, how'd you do your hair? But I usually do my hair the same way, but it comes out looking different. Sometimes it's more shiny because I straighten it more. Sometimes it's more of a fro because I don't straighten it at all. Sometimes it's like an in-between. So... Um, I really don't do a lot to my hair, even though it seems like I do, but um, it just comes out different every time. So, and usually I'll pin it a different way and it'll look different, but it's the same thing. <laughs> so, the curly fro look is something that I'm really, really loving. Um, right now I just have a normal fro, but I really like the curly fro look. Um, I like to alternate between the fro, what I have now, and the curly fro look um, because they're both really simple um, but recently um, after coming to Korea I really like started to really get I feel like I'm growing into myself and like I guess my boyfriend mentioned it too because he was like comparing pictures and he was like I guess you're like blossoming or something <laughs> like I feel like I really grew into who I am I'm really like forming myself I guess or shaping myself or I don't know what it is but I feel more me now and I feel very comfortable like in my own skin and just like with my natural hair and um, when I was younger I hated my natural hair like not hated to like a point where I wanted to shave it off but I think I came close <laughs> but um, it was just really frustrating because after I washed it like combing it was a hassle and my mom had to blow dry it and then straighten it and all of that and just to keep it up was just so frustrating and I was like why can't I just have straight hair and I, I wish like with all this technology people should have come up with something where you could just like put in your hair and forever your hair is straight like you can wet it and it's straight like I was like how could they have not they've come up with computers they've come up with all this great technology people have been to the moon but how come I can't have straight hair <laughs> so it was really frustrating, but after coming to Korea, I really have, like, appreciated being black and being me, and not that I haven't pr appreciated being black, but I mean, like, I really am proud of, like, who I am, of my hair, like, of my skin color. I love my skin color. I love the texture of my hair. It's so versatile and like I can do so many things with it that other people can't or people have to work really hard to do the things that I can do to my hair. Um, like here in Korea, like people think I have a perm and I'm like, no, I don't have a perm. This is my natural hair. Or um, sometimes I'll even get comments from you guys saying, oh, did you cut your hair? But no, I, I didn't cut my hair. It's just so versatile. It can be long. It can be short, like super short. It can be straight. It can be curly. It can be wavy. And, um, and it pretty much stays in place and everything. So I really have come to appreciate my hair because a lot of like the Koreans here, they have super straight hair and everyone's hair is like the same. It's all straight. It's all the same color. It's all everything. But um, if you look at black hair, there's so many different textures, there's so many different colors, there's so many different lengths and all of that, different textures, like people think of black hair as a fro, but there's a lot of different um, textures to black hair. Some people have straight hair, like it's uh, completely like curly, it can be like wavy, it can be fro -y. so when you think of black hair, it's not just a fro, there's many different um, types of black hair just as the same as there's different types of skin colors for shades of black <laughs> because um, 
not every black person is my skin color. Some are a lot darker, some are a lot lighter. Some people are black and they're mistaken for being white. So like when you think of black, it's not all just one thing. And I realized how beautiful that is, like how diverse we are. So I went from talking about my hair to everything else. <laughs> so um, pretty much coming to Korea, I really have had this um, amazing like appreciation for everything about um, my hair to my skin color to just the diversity of being black and um, came to appreciate it. Um, now talking about um, like what I think about my hair. Um, well, I said already that growing up I had a struggle with my hair and it's already at 10 minutes and 42 seconds <laughs> um, but this will be one of my long videos um, after coming to Korea um, I really did start to play with my hair more like um, not straight I didn't straighten it really I think I may have worn my hair straight maybe two or three times you saw it in my black and Korea racism, racism or ignorance video and you may have seen it in my Diary of a Mad Black Woman video <laughs> and maybe one more time but typically, typically this whole time in Korea my hair has been either in a curly fro style or in a fro and recently I started throwing my hair um, because I just thought it looked so cool and like I don't know like <laughs> I just feel so me when I have my hair natural and froed and just like I don't know I just feel really like myself and I don't know I just think it's great that I can wear my hair like this and just feel me so um, I really don't know what to say about how I feel about it I just the only way to describe it is I feel me I feel really unique really different <laughs> um, I don't know, kind of special that my hair can do this and not many people's can from any other, you know, like Koreans can't do their hair like this unless they really try hard. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I think it's just really cool and, um, what else? What people think about my hair. I've got a lot of mixed things. Some people prefer my curly fro, like when it's like um, really shiny curled over my fro but I've had a lot of really good um, responses to my hair um, I've had like a man in the kimbap place he was like oh hair is good and then <laughs> and then one of my guy students my guy my boy students he um, saw my hair and we were walking down the hall and he's like Tally today hairstyle is good and then I was like oh thank you and he was like <laughs> the least person the least person the one that I least expected that from because he's I don't know I just didn't expect that from him so it was really cute that he really he really liked my hair he told me like three times that day and it was in a fro and um, I've had some of my students say oh your hair is good today like um, they like my fro and many people on the streets like my hair and they say oh your hair is good and like <laughs> I don't know people have taken it very well my fro I, I guess they like that it's different um, that's one thing that they like is I oh that's like unique and interesting and maybe they think it's weird but I, I've gotten a lot of cool interesting comments <laughs> um, what else have I received um, you guys see my videos where my students want to touch my hair a lot of them are just really curious to what it feels like and you see them screaming and like ah! <laughs> like going crazy and actually um, you guys know that one of my students said Medusa Medusa or whatever like um, <laughs> they call me Medusa <laughs> but um, they're just very curious and I actually don't think that's different than what it would be in the US but they just react differently um, I know a lot of people who are not black who don't have this hair texture are curious to what our hair feels like and to what um, like how it gets like this a lot of people really don't know even in the US so um, even though like in Korea I get all of these like stares and people want to touch my hair my students go crazy over my hair um, I don't think it's that much of a 
I, I mean, it is a difference from the U.S. to Korea, but I do think the curiosity in the U.S. is there, but people don't express it like Korea does. So I know I still have friends, even my close friends who are curious, who probably want to touch my hair, but who haven't expressed it, you know? In Korea, they're just very curious, and they'll ask you, can I touch your hair? And sometimes they won't even ask you. They'll just go up and touch it, so <laughs> be prepared for that. And then also, um... Yeah, so like, I'm sure my neighbors down the street, if I walked out like this, they'd be like, hmm, how did her hair get like that? Like, what did she do to it? Can I touch it? Like, um, but they're not going to ask you. They're, most of them in the U.S., like, you know, you're not going to ask someone to touch your hair. And many people, even in the U.S., don't even know that um, if you have your hair straight and then you get it wet, our hair gets like this, like, instantly. Uh, most people, many people don't realize that. Um, so... While Korea has, I've had this really interesting experience in Korea, I still realize that in the U.S., like, people are still curious about our hair. Um, yeah, so, what else? <laughs> um, I did see, um, that good hair, bad hair video. I was, someone commented this and asked me about that. Um, I saw that and I don't, I can't say that I have... An opinion about good hair and bad hair my only opinion that I have is that any hair is good hair I mean like just be thankful that you have hair in your head I mean some people do purposely shave their heads but there are people who can't grow hair there are people who have cancer and who have an illness or something like that and they would love to have any hair including a fro especially a fro like um, you know there are people who can't who are sick of other diseases and can't grow hair or some people were born with something and they can't they can grow like a little patch of hair here but then they have to wear a wig because it doesn't grow right like I'm just thankful I have hair <laughs> so I think that you just have to work with what you got and what God gave you and try and make it work I think that a lot of it comes from the way you carry yourself when you wear your hair natural. I mentioned it before in my I Made Partner video um, about how people carry themselves when they wear their hair natural. They seem very sad and very depressed and like drained or something. Like, I don't know. I, I really don't like the, the feeling I get when I see people, most people with natural hair. Um, and by natural hair, I'm, I'm saying fro, not really, like, super curly, like, there's a lot of, um, people who have curly natural hair, but what I mean right now by natural hair is just fro, I'm gonna call it natural hair, <laughs> um, there's just a lot of people who seem so sad, and it really frustrates me, cause it makes, you know, like, I think, I've, I've received a lot of messages from people saying, oh, you inspired me to go natural, and I think that's really cool. Um, but it all, it's not just about being natural, it's also about, like, carrying yourself in a way that doesn't seem so blah. Like, I see a lot of natural people, they make me feel so depressed. <laughs> and, like, I don't think it should be that way. I think being natural should just be a fun process and, like, something that's really exciting and... Um, it shouldn't be a depressing experience, and, um, yeah, so I think that, um, if you want to go natural, you should try and make it fun. Like, you guys see I wear, like, bows in my hair. A lot of people who go natural throw out, like, all their little clips and stuff. Like, you can wear little cute scarves, wear, like, headbands, wear bows, you can wear jewelry, like... I know that some natural people don't want to wear like extra like they don't want to wear lipstick like people some people are really natural and there's no nothing wrong with that but they look so sad <laughs> so I think that being natural should be a fun thing not a sad thing um, nobody died <laughs> I hope um, yeah like just have fun with it it's a fun process it was really fun for me and I feel really like myself being natural um and on that note i would like to say that just because someone is natural and decides to wear their hair straight for a little while doesn't mean that they don't like being natural it just means they're trying out another hairstyle um i know a lot of black people get um um 
Also, there's a lot of white people who have really like froey hair too. So this could go for you too. <laughs> but mostly black people um, get a lot of like um, comments about like, oh, you don't like who you are and you don't like being black and all that stuff. But like people who have straight hair like to curl their hair. People who have straight hair like to have their hair wavy you know so why is it that a black person who has a fro one day and then straight hair the next day hates themselves you know like um i'm into fashion and i like to do different things sometimes i'll wear lipstick sometimes i won't sometimes i'll wear earrings sometimes okay i always wear earrings <laughs> uh, my mom taught me that if you don't have on earrings you're naked so yeah i have to wear earrings but <laughs> but like um just because you decide not to wear a fro one day doesn't mean that you dislike yourself you dislike your hair that you hate your hair or anything it just means that you're straightening your hair you're curling your hair you're wearing a different hairstyle it doesn't mean that you hate yourself so if you get any comments about that just ignore it because they don't they're just stupid <laughs> um because you know like you can't expect someone to wear a hairstyle forever like don't expect me to wear my hair like this forever I mean I might go back to it I might not you know but I'm really enjoying my hair the way it is right now I actually am considering getting braids when I go to the US and you're probably like is she going to the US and staying or is she going and visiting but I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> um, yeah but uh, also I have a hair shop video in Korea that I'm waiting to upload but because of some editing issues with my boyfriend in the video <laughs> um, I'm not sure I will probably wait to upload it later when I reveal him when we reveal each each other when we reveal him do you know what I mean okay yes you do <laughs> so when he's revealed I'll probably upload that video it's pretty much Itaewon and the hair shops that you can go to for black hair and also for hair products so that's really good I know I've been asked about where to find hair products and where hair salons are so um, I'm glad I got a chance to get that on video and I love my hair and I'm really like feeling this style <laughs> so yeah but I might get braids um, in like two months maybe I'm debating what do you guys think should I get braids should I not I think you guys have seen a picture of me with braids and I have braids in my old video I think way way back I think I'm not sure but yeah so that's my whole take on the whole black hair thing and I'm at like five million hours so I'll see you guys later <laughs> bye